hey welcome back everyone today i'm going to be building a caravan in blocks blog today and i was planning on doing a seven by three or three by seven however you want to put it um size of a caravan i really want to add these sunset windows and go with a beachy theme i don't really know if i'm gonna keep that going the beachy theme but yeah we'll see uh i added these curtains because i feel like it stands out more and um by these windows by, um, I'm going to do the two windows at the back, I think I'm going to do. Those two windows, I added these flowers, I think it's really, really nice. Like, just looking at your window, you have a nice view ahead. And then when you look down, you'll see just a bunch of flowers on up, on your window. And this is going to, I'm planning on doing this side of the caravan to be the driver's area. Even though I literally put plants in front of the windows. But, well, they're going to crash. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I added these basic shapes um, for like the front area. I don't really know if it looks like a caravan yet, but I'll make it look like one. I got this little poster for the um, for the number plate. I I don't usually they go at the back, but I just put it as a front. Um, and yeah, uh, this door actually really matches the uh the walls uh and for the i wanted to add stairs going up to the door but it didn't really work unless the thing unless the stairs was longer and for the wheels as i know on both sides um obviously because they can't be different wheels but i done a, just a cylinder um painted it black and just put it halfway in the wall it kind of sticks out though but you know We'll try and make it invisible. <laughs> For the bathroom, I'm going to do just a two square bathroom. I know, weird. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this window is stopping me, is not letting me do this wall. But I'm not going to let a window stop me. I'm going to use basic shapes to do for the wall. I think that looks pretty good, right? Right? <laughs> kind of does. Um, I want to add, uh, well, this is going to be the smallest bathroom. I bet you this is going to be my least favourite part of the caravan. It's going to be so small. And the thing about small toilets, it feels like the wall's closing on you. And it feels so tight. But I don't really have much space, so I'm just going to have to deal with it, I guess. Um, paint the walls white. And, yeah. Um, I feel like I feel like I'm going with a white and blue kind of colors with a green, maybe some green. I feel like the bathroom's gonna be some green because I feel like it's just a really nice color. It's one of my favorite colors, like a dark green, a forest green, kind of. Some people may think it's strange, but I think it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I done a green shower. Hopefully, the water don't come out green. But the thing is, some showers, well, most showers that I see are, like, grey-white. And the water don't come out grey or white. It comes out clear. Yeah, clear. Oh, well. <laughs> um, for the shelves, I'm going to add, like, deodorant, saving, shaving cream, shampoo, conditioner, uh, and all those type of products. Obviously, um, a toothbrushes, toothbrushes, and... You know, all those kind of stuff. And I wish these toothbrushes would just let me place them in a place. Like, come on. I'm going to either have them hanging off the edge or halfway through the wall. Imagine just walking past and then seeing, and seeing, two, and then seeing two half toothbrushes with half a cup sticking out. I mean, I don't want that, but I also don't want it hanging off the edge. I don't know. And I also done a, um, a soap bar. And, well, yeah. For the... You know what? I think that's... How can I forget the tissue? How can I forget... Imagine going to the toilet and every time you go, there's no tissue. I mean, people. some people in Bloxburg, when they're building houses and stuff, they don't do it like an actual real-life thing sometimes. Sometimes they don't even add tissue or toothbrushes. They just add a toilet and sink in a bath and a shower, or a shower. Like, you have to be kidding me. 
And they don't even have a potty sometimes. What if the toilet breaks into their house and wants to use the toilet? They won't be able to sit on the toilet. Like, <laughs> yep. Anyways, I might want to change this lighting soon because last time I used the lighting, it wasn't very good. But I may want to keep it or I want may want to change it. Um, the bed's going to be over here, and I don't know why, this is an expensive bed, and no, I've never seen somebody use this, never in my whole entire life has I have I seen someone use this bed. I mean, you could turn a cheap, weird-looking, ugly, disgusting bed into a really nice, beautiful bed. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay, enough of the accent. But anyways... You could turn it into such a nice bed. You just gotta get up the pillows on decorate, change the pillows, change the color and the material, maybe decorate it a bit, and then, and then done, blam, and then, ladies and gentlemen, you have your beautiful bed. You know. Oh no! This is basically like my dream, my dream house. Because I've always wanted to live in a caravan and I'll get my own small bathroom, <laughs> my own bathroom, storage on top, my own TV, a beautiful bed. And I am going to decorate the shapes I made, I made out of basic shapes. Really nice pillows, really nice and fancy. I feel like using these pillows, they, they just turn out really fancy. Fa Did I just say fancy? <laughs> fancy. <laughs> uh, anyways. I really like this flower pillow. It's so cute. This whole caravan is going to be cute. I mean, it's going to be so nice. I've always wanted to live in a caravan. I've been in a caravan for f five days before. Like, just a few weeks ago. And it was, like, really nice and cosy. So, I think most caravans are cosy. But the thing is, in the caravans, like, you could... All the caravans look exactly, and I mean exactly the same. I mean, um, my parents sent me out to um, the shop to get a few bottles of water. Because they only come with a couple of cups, cups, plates and kettles and stuff. They don't really come with food. They don't come with any food, to be honest. So you need to get out and buy it. So, yeah. Um... Uh, when we were out, me and my sisters got lost. Yeah, that's right, we got lost. We were, we were like, no, go this way. No, it's the caverns this way. No, the shop's this way. No, we have to go this way. And, you know, it, it was, it was just, it was just, you know, really not fun. I enjoyed going around on my, on our own. After a few days, you got where everything was. You, and you understood everything. And, but, the thing is, when me and my sister first went out and we got lost, we had to go to the reception and ask where the shop is. And they said, opposite Martello Beach. Well, guess what? Me and my sister did not know where Martello Beach is. And, yeah, we didn't know where Martello Beach is, so that was, um, yeah. <laughs> I knew that it was by the entrance, but my sister wanted to go over a bridge. We never, ever, since we got to the caravan site, never, ever went, went over a bridge. And she made me go over the bridge. So, yeah, we ended up going over the bridge. Guess what? It was another caravan site. We had to go back over the bridge after. And then we have to try to find our caravan. Our car it took us about another hour just to find our caravan and then the time we actually found our caravan the only reason why we could tell you know what if you ever if anyone if anyone watching ever goes to a caravan site i'm warning you they all look the same and the only way to know the only way to know where where your caravan is is your number caravan and your car that's parked there. Because um, they literally all look exactly the same. No other detail. It's just your number caravan. 
Like, our caravan was MV21, and I don't really know what uh, um, the car was, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to tell you guys that anyway, <laughs> you know. But anyways, yeah, that's the only way you could tell, so it was really, really hard. And guess how many caravans there was? You know what? I don't even know. Thousands? Billions? Millions? I mean, it was a lot. Yeah, definitely a lot. There was two different ways, and I was telling my sister, no, let's go this way, it's a shortcut. Our parents would be worried about us if we take too long, and plus, this is the actual way. But she said, no, this is the way, and then we just kept on fighting over which is the way, and yeah. The time we got to our actual caravan, it was, <laughs> we were about to go out, so we ended up not getting the water, so yeah, that was quite a day. Anyways, I'm on to the kitchen now. I want to add this mini fridge for 125, was it? Box box, and now I only have 265. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if it would look better if I add it on top of the counter, I don't know. But I'm just leave it. Add the sink then, the oven on top of the counter here. A coffee maker there. And maybe I'll add a shelf full of other things as well but i just realized i don't have any space for like when you do cutting and stuff so maybe i'll add a shelf and put the coffee maker on there and some storage as well but use that space to put toaster in the kettle and for the cutting when you cut vegetables and cook and all those kind of stuff um yeah I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Uh, so, I was going to say this is the final result, result, but then I realized I haven't even done the driver's area and decorate the outside, so it's not over yet, guys. It's not over. Anyways, uh, <laughs> for, I want to add these basic sh shapes like I did into the bed to make like a step. So you step into the, I want to add it really, really cozy. Just sit in there driving in your really nice caravan while, while, while your other family members is chilling on the sofa, chilling on the bed, chilling on the computer, making some food. And then you stop off at a really nice place. And then, yeah, and, you, and I, I put the caravan like in the middle of the plot because I want it, I want it to be surrounded by greenery and fountains and, you know, all those kind of stuff. And for the steering wheel, I'm going to copy the wheel, but it's not really letting me. So I'm probably just going to have to do it all over again. I can make it. But this time I probably won't add the wheel. So, yeah. Um, I kind of want to, well, I don't know. <laughs> is the steering wheel on the left or the right side? It's the right side, right? Yeah, it's the right. I'm always getting confused. <laughs> I never really know, but then I realise and I'm like, oh yeah, that's it. You know? This bed looks so cosy. <laughs> I wanted to add a final touch with the blanket on it. Because I completely forgot to do that when I was doing the bed. And here is the driver's area. I wanted to add it more cosy. But I think that's cosy enough, right? This can be the final result, but I don't want it to be because I want to decorate the outside. And I want to add these lights here as well. And that's really good. Uh, I wanted to add these plants on top of the uh, driver's area. And that is the final result. Here we've got the nice cozy bed and your TV you can watch over here. Your nice sitting area of the computer. The driver's area... Your, um, the man, the box burger man, <laughs> right there. And the kitchen there, and the really small bathroom with the blanket hanging out over the bed, going through the wall into the bathroom. I guess you can sleep into the bathroom. Yeah, not a good idea. Anyways, this is not quite, but almost the final result. I'm going to decorate the outside, and I will see you guys when I am... Well done. So this is is the final result. I added some flowers and some trees 
And as you can see, these fountains all together was like 20,000. Um, all together, all of these fountains. I forgot. There's a chair right there. I'm going to have to delete that. But yeah, lots of fountains everywhere. It's really, really nice. And I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Goodbye.